very nice. Great to be here. No, it is. It's great to this city is fucking awesome. I love this city. And uh, love to find folks here at One Agents to let Owen and I come down here tonight and uh, a little bit about myself. I'm Korean and Irish. I'm uh, I, I took my first trip to Asia, went to China. People in China thought I was Chinese because I guess even they can't tell the difference. You go to another country, pick up a few words. I know Ni Hao. Ni Hao is long Chinese. Everyone I was trying to be friendly was like, Ni Hao, Ni Hao. People start speaking back to me. Ni Hao, Hanatha, no Chinese. Ooh! I get so pissed, I don't understand why. And then I came home and I realized, well, it's rude, it's misleading. What if we walk around here? Someone's like, hello. I'd be like, hey, how you doing? No English. Why the fuck you start talking to me then? China, 1.3 billion. They're everywhere, even in this country. We have Chinatowns everywhere. New York Chinatown, LA Chinatown. I was in China hoping to find an America town. Just a bunch of fat white people dipping food in ranch, dressed looking for free Wi-Fi all day long. America town. This is a crazy thing. I'm walking around downtown Beijing. I kept hearing the N-word over and over and over again. And I, I, I feel like, I, I was just like, man, these people hate black people. I don't know what they're bitching about. There's not here. We're in fucking China. And after like five minutes and like 108 N words, I go to the tour guy and go, hey man, why do they keep saying the N word? He's like, they're not, well, in Chinese that word means something completely different. What it means here basically is, ugh. So you're like, hey, how's your day going? N word, fine. A popular term over there is this and that. They don't say this and that. They say N word, then they say jigga. Which one of the fucking chances of that happening? I'm seeing seven-year-old Chinese women drop that. I'm like, man, these people love JC. Holy shit. But there's a crazy thing. There's no Best Buys, Walmarts, Home Depots. There's markets. And in every market, you have to negotiate for everything you want to buy. When you negotiate with somebody, somebody's going to stall for time. So you hear that word constantly. I wasn't used to it. You know, first marketplace I walk into, I'd be like, oh, how much is this little bench here? They're like, nigga, 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 50. <laughs> I know. I want you guys to know. I want black people to know. It's a different vacation for you guys, right? I mean, miss, no offense, you show up, it's totally different for you. You show up, you're like, oh, I'm just a piano bitch. Nigga, 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 50. No, chink, 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 I'll take it for 40! She laughing? She laughing? Oh, Rush Hour's a good movie, right? Uh, this is the last thing I said about being over China. I was there originally for the Olympics. That's a global event. People there from all over the world. And the one question everybody was asking each other was this, what are you? What are you? I was like, oh, I'm American. It felt great. I'm an American. Then I come back to America. Still to the same people. Like, it's like your face with your eyes. Like, what happened? I'm Korean and I'm Irish. Oh, welcome. Welcome. I live here. What the fuck do you mean, welcome? So I started saying to myself, if I say I'm American all the way over China, why don't I say I'm American while I'm here in America? That's what I say for now. People are like, what's your background? I'm American. Where are your parents from? I'm American. I'm tired of us trying to separate ourselves from ourselves within ourselves. Racial sex, African American, Asian American, Latin American. This is all the American, right? Unless you're Mexican. I'm saying you should get the fuck out. It's over. I'm joking, if you're Mexican, just drink up, have fun, order whatever you want, then leave, we'll pay the bill. Don't worry, it's okay, we got it. And that includes you, whatever Belize is from, I don't give a shit. You still look like that, so, I'm joking. There's only two races in this country, white and black, that's it, you turn on the TV all day long, all you see are white and black people. No Asians, Mexicans, Latins, Middle Easterns. Middle Easterns, you see if you watch CNN, that's it. It's black and white all night long. Watch commercials. Every commercial, white guy, black guy. Let's get a Toyota. Black guy, white guy. Let's get some Budweiser. White guy, black guy. Let's go to Taco Bell. You gonna put a Mexican in the goddamn Taco Bell commercial? Make a run for the border? They know how. You sure it does better? It's okay. I'm People always complain about Mexicans coming here illegally, taking jobs. I don't blame Mexicans for coming here. I think we did something fucked up to the Mexicans. When we were creating our country just above Mexico, we created a state called New Mexico. What Mexican would want to check that shit out? But it's so boring here, that's so dirty. <gasps> There's a New Mexico! Now we're all pissed are coming here? Iraq, Afghanistan, we got it all wrong. What we need to do is invade Canada. Take that over, rename it Newest Mexico, then watch where it wants to go straight to the top. Very exciting time in the country. We got our first black president, Barack Obama. That's exciting. Yeah. Girls love Obama. I've heard girls say that Obama's sexy. That dude is a fucking nerd. 
<laughs> I cannot picture that dude getting sexual at all. Aloha. Okay, girl. Girl, relax. Let's go slow. Now, I don't got nowhere to go. I'm going to concentrate on you. Girl, are you ready? It's going to be a little loud. Put your clothes off. I'm going to take my clothes off, too. Girl, I will make love to you. Like you want me to. And I will hold you tight all through the night. My anaconda don't want none. Unless you got mine, huh? I hate dried gravy on a plate. That's why I came here today on dishes. <laughs> This is exciting, guys. Trust me, you'll, you'll see. You'll get trouble with this. Our first black president. That's what he always say about Obama, right? First black president. Here's what nobody says. Also half white. Obama's half white, and if you don't believe he's half white, this is all you have to do. Go home tonight and YouTube him on the Ellen DeGeneres show. I'm like, do you have a bad back? Who the fuck dances like that? I'm serious. Tiger Woods, great black golfer, also half Asian. I've never heard him called an Asian golfer. After a few months ago, I know he's an Asian driver. <laughs> How the fuck do you wreck in your own driveway? I'm going clubbing tonight, bitch. Take care. Fuck! <laughs> Here's my point. Obama, half black, half white, black president. Tiger Woods, half black, half Asian, black golfer. Steve Byrne, gook. <laughs> I've been called gook, chick, pants face slow, short round data, I killed your dad in Vietnam, I have heard all that shit, okay? My last name is Byrne, I've never been called Irish in my life ever. I was in Dublin on St. Patrick's Day going, hey, kiss me, I'm Irish. No, you're not. What the fuck do I have to do? Well, when you're mixed, we gotta call you something. What do we call you? Here's what we call you. Whatever dilutes the water, whatever kind of fucks up the whitey, that's what you are. I might be a weak glass of lemonade, but I'm still fucking lemonade, I guess. I'll never forget when I found out I was Asian. I was in, I was in fourth grade. I was on a playground. Some kid comes up to me. He goes, hey, Steve, you're a chick. All right, cool. Thanks, man. <laughs> I don't know what it meant. Then I got older and realized that dude's a fucking asshole. <laughs> but I also know most of the things people call me don't apply to me. There's all different kinds of Asians. So he goes up, hey, you're a chick. I'm actually half Korean, not Chinese, so I don't have to tell you. Pearl Harbor asshole. I'm actually half Korean, so maybe vent out your egg at a sushi bar. Take care. <laughs> All kinds of Asians, all kinds of white people. I'm going to a white guy say a bunch of white stuff like an Italian. Anthony Roselli, you stupid Mick. Uh, I'm not Irish. Whatever, Jew. I'm not Jewish. <laughs> Don't like you honey, baby. What the fuck are you talking about, dude? <laughs> Racial insults are the meanest things we can call one another. But we all know there's one word you can't say. You cannot say the N-word. But I think it's kind of unfair this land of a freedom of speech. A black guy can call me what he wants when he's pissed off. I can't call him what I want when I'm pissed off. So I figured out a legal loophole. If I can't call a black guy the N-word, then I will just call him N-word. <laughs> so a black guy's like, hey, you're a kook. Oh, yeah? You're a real N-word. Did you just call him that? No, I did not. <laughs> We've got to call each other something sometimes. We're not all Mexicans. We're not all Swedes. We're not all Italians. We're Americans. When you're American, you're from everywhere. What's in the back of a $1 bill? E pluribus unum. What does that mean? Out of many, one. People from all over the world to be one, united. We should love each other. We should have fun with each other. We should stereotype each other. People are like, oh, you shouldn't stereotype. Fuck that. When you stereotype people, you're not saying all. You're saying most. <laughs> most of them. I was talking to my friend. I'm like, man, black people are incredible at basketball. Uh, you shouldn't say that. Why not? Black people are incredible at basketball. Watch an NBA game. Who's playing? Black guys. Who's on the bench? The white guy. They're not holding out the secret weapon. Even if you still got a black and white TV, you can still tell who's awesome and who kind of sucks. Black people are the fastest people on the planet, right? Running backs, track and field, summer Olympics, a marathon, they are fast. Put them behind a countertop McDonald's, it's like, what the fuck is taking so long to get a cheeseburger this bitch? Holy shit! Oh, girl, you know that's their favorite word. You know that's their favorite word. Mexicans always coming here to clean shit, right? Dishwashing, housekeeping, clean, clean, clean. You ever been to Mexico? The dirtiest fucking place I've ever been in my goddamn life. Stop coming here to clean our shit, stay there, clean your own shit, maybe you'll fucking stay there. I think you're black, Latin, Asian, Middle Eastern, you make fun of people, it's fine. When you're white, you make fun of people, it's racist. I think that's bullshit. I can't fucking take the white guilt in this country anymore. It's driving me fucking nuts. TSA, airport security, is the biggest example I know of, t of, uh, of white guilt. Because it's white people running it. And what do they do? We're going to randomly screen everybody. Because, well, we don't want to 
offend anybody. Well, you know what? It's time to start offending somebody. One bad apple don't spoil the whole bunch. Nineteen fucking does. You know what they look like? Search them. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're Middle Eastern, you're Muslim, you're here. Welcome, God bless you. Welcome, be part of the party. We're on the same flight. You gotta show up two hours earlier. I'm sorry. It's just the fucking way it goes down nowadays. Look, if I'm performing tonight and I get hit from a blow dart from a ninja and I want to find that ninja, I gotta start looking for him in Africa. I'm gonna look for a ninja in fucking Asia. I mean, white people, I mean, just stop with the fucking, oh, white guys are corny. Yeah, we are. <laughs> no, you're not. Stop. I can't take it. I mean, how many fucking movies? White men can't jump? That's racist. You can make a movie called White Men Can't Jump. Can I make a movie called Black Guys Can't Swim? <laughs> can I? How many fucking movies is Hollywood gonna make where black guys teach white guys how to be cool? Nah, bro. Nah, you don't stand like that. Gotta burn. <laughs> oh, so I don't say like, this is good. I mean, it's good.